I'm going to tell you about a study that has just been published in the British Medical Journal. The background is that we don't really know what's the relationship between levels of LDL cholesterol and all-cause mortality, as well as course-specific mortality. We wanted to test that in a study called the Copenhagen General Population Study from Denmark, where we examined 110,000 individuals, followed them for 9 to 10 years, during which time 11,000 died. The main finding was that uh, for LDL cholesterol levels, the lowest mortality was at 3.6 millimoles per liter. Levels lower than that and higher than that had higher all-cause mortality. Um, when we looked at the ones that were given statins, it wasn't like that. The lower the LDL cholesterol, there was no increase in all-cause mortality, and the lowest concentration of LDL with the lowest mortality was actually lower at 2.3 millimoles per liter. The overall findings were similar for men and women, for young and old, uh, for cancer mortality as well as other mortality. And in fact, for cancer mortality, there was a particular high mortality at low LDL cholesterol levels. For cardiovascular mortality, the curve was completely flat. Very, very important. Within the same data set, uh, the higher the LDL cholesterol, the higher the risk of myocardial infarction. So that was exactly as we expected. So summing up, we found that the association between LDL cholesterol levels and all-cause mortality is U-shaped with the lowest mortality at a level of 3.6 millimoles uh, per liter. Uh, these findings could have both clinical and public health uh, implications and certainly could be valuable for the discussion between doctor and patient about when and how to treat high LDL cholesterol levels.